IHS, thank you for joining us. I'm Kaleeb. And I'm Megatron. And here are your Friday announcements. We would like to wish you all a happy National FFA Week. If you're looking for something entertaining to do this evening, swing by the Field House. Tonight is a third annual Big Band Dance. If you buy your tickets in advance, they are $12 for one and $20 for a couple. At the door, they will be $15 for one and $25 for a couple. If you get in right now, tickets are still available at Downey Tire, McCoy True Value, High V, Mike Richardson, the high school band director, and Kevin Meyer, the middle school band director. The flyer can be found at the tiny URL found on your screen. Check it out. You can pick up your summer PE forms in the main office now. They will only be accepting 30 students, and those are due by May 1st. Service Corps, if you are in need of more hours, the Indianola Volleyball Club is looking for help this Saturday at the middle school. There are two one and a half hour shifts, and if you are also interested in helping with the Wilder School Dance on March 7th, go ahead and see Mr. Hansen. 17 DECA students competed at state competition last Sunday. Indy DECA was proud to have students perform very well and had nine students qualify for nationals in Orlando, Florida this April. They include Melanie Willis, Katie Nichols, Abby Bowers, Jensen Gebhardt, Logan Vickroy, Tyler Piper, Nathan Dawson, Anna Hoyman, Rory Wilbur, and Caitlin Schultz. Great job, guys, and good luck in Orlando. Now, over to sports with Tyler and Fizzy. Thanks, guys. This is Sports Corner with Fozzie, special guest Hunter Burial. Let's get started. The girls' b-ball team is going to state. Congratulations, girls. They beat Winterset 56 to 35. The game will be Wednesday the 4th at 1145 at Wells Fargo. Everyone come out and support. Are you planning on going, Hunter? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Uh, are you getting a state t-shirt? Uh, probably. I think it'll be good and uh, everyone should go out and show their support for the team. Sign-up sheets for the t-shirts can be found in the main office. Alright. Boys b-ball and a heartbreaker. The Indians come up short 34 to 39. Great effort, guys, and thank you for and thank you to all the seniors. Thanks for four great years. Wrestling, congratulations to Joe Howard on seventh place finish and great season, Joe. Casey Crawford finished sixth place in state wrestling. Congratulations, Casey. Thanks for four great years. How about to you, Taylor? The girls' bowling team. They did really well. They went to state, sent Hannah Duber, Jess Call, and Morgan Hamill. And Hannah Duber ended up finishing fifth overall. Nice season, girls. And I think that's all we have for sports here. I'm Taylor. I'm Fozzy. And I'm Hunter. Back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to cut the part out where he tackles me. We're just gonna Thanks, guys. Here at Studio I we'd like to congratulate the girls' basketball team on a trip to the well. Any girls who plan on playing tennis this year need to get their physicals and all the necessary paperwork done before practice starts on Monday, March 23rd. Right after spring break, if you have any questions, please see Coach Huss in room 106 or Coach Summy in room 336. Attention 9th to 11th graders interested in trying out for IHS cheerleading. Cheer tryout practice will be Monday, March 9th, with March 11th from 4 to 6 p.m. in the multi-purpose room at the middle school. These two practices will be different, so you will need to attend both. Tryouts will be held Thursday, March 12th, beginning at 4.30 in the East Gym. Contact Coach Hewlin if you have any questions or concerns. Attention Indianola School Volleyball players in grades 9 through 12. Volleyball open gyms can be held at the North Gym on the following dates. Tuesday, March 10th. Tuesday, March 24th. Thursday, April 2nd. Monday, April 13th. Thursday, April 23rd. Tuesday, April 28th at 8.30 to 9.45 p.m. The football staff will be facilitating Speed and agility training again this year. There will be 20 sessions. The first will begin on March 2nd. Those sessions will take place on Monday and Wednesday mornings at the Blake Fieldhouse. 
Each session will begin at 6.15 a.m. and be completed by 7.15 a.m. If you're planning on playing football this fall, please make an attempt to make these sessions and contribute to your team. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Coach Kluver. All high school boys interested in playing soccer, there will be an informational meeting for athletes and parents on Sunday, March 1st at 5 in the Middle School Blake Fieldhouse. Please, please plan to attend. Athletes are encouraged to stick around for an open gym from 5.30 to 7.30 after the meeting. Dress accordingly. Now over to Autumn Storm with weather. Thanks guys, I'm Autumn Storm here with the weather and as you can tell it is super cold out. More snow is expected tomorrow and Sunday. However, it looks like it'll warm up next week with a high of 30 degrees. Hopefully the warm weather will stick around because I for one am super excited for not only the sun to come back but also for spring break. Back to Caleb and Meg with what's bugging them. Thanks Autumn. Now it's time for what's bugging Caleb and Meg when we basically just tell you what's been bugging us this week. Those people who come to class but don't do anything, you should participate. I mean. It's school. People who talk smack about others behind their back, sit with your chest. Those kids that don't go, in, go to any sporting events because it's a waste of time and because they have a life. Go out and be social. It's fun. We promise. Mr. being forced into retirement? What the heck? People who complain about anything. Life is not that bad. I mean, at least you're not Britney Spears in 2007. The lack of snow days we've had? What the heck, Mother Nature? The burnouts that were being done in front of the main doors? Just kidding. Let's be honest, that was kind of cool. The overwhelming population of feral cats in Warren County. Well, guys, that's all we have this week. Thanks for watching IHS. I'm Kaleeb. And I'm Megatron. Have a great weekend, homies.